out. So thank you in advance for all of that. And I love how you built that just from realizing what you're good at and what you really thrive and what you like doing. Um, because anybody can make money, right? Anybody can start a business, make money, you know, just kind of sell product or, or figure out a system. But you really not only have done that to shape how you pay yourself, but also what you enjoy doing along with your skill set. And I really admire that. Yeah, it wasn't, it, I'm going to tell you, it wasn't easy. That part was, it took me like two years to really come back and and regain my trust in myself you mm -hmm. know uh, like like that confidence like oh re i'm actually really good at this because when i launched my first brand that was terrible it was terrible christine like we lost a lot of money it, it did perform horribly on amazon and that's because i don't i don't want to i don't want to say it's because um oh the the other factors outside of me but the things that i knew about Amazon and the things of uh, account management and all of this stuff, they were flawless. But then other stuff like um, suppliers and inventory, and actually we were importing that inventory from another country, not China, but uh, the regulations from that product and things that we didn't know. So I feel that sometimes people get into this thinking that it's like, oh, super easy, super quick. And, and actually me being like after a year and a half of doing Amazon, I still had a brand that was a failure. Mm -hmm. So with that, I had to sit back and say like, okay, what was the thing that failed? And I'm like, okay, well, packaging wasn't the best thing. Then supply chain wasn't the best thing, but that was in my expertise, right? So I could either learn, right? And and did it and do it again, which I did. And, and the second time was way better. Or I can just like sit and like be frustrated forever and, and think that the, the, the system doesn't work, right? Mm -hmm. So I think it's a huge, there is a huge learning curve. And right now, and I think the gap is getting bigger and bigger and bigger of all of the areas that we need to be exceptional at mm. to be successful. Like Amazon, I, when I started, that was in 2017, uh, that was a different monster. Like mm -hmm. we, the, the rules were different, the areas were different, things were more easy, the market wasn't as saturated as it is right now. So if you lack experience in supply chain, you could still make it, like you could still launch a product as I did, right? Um, not super successful, but right now, it's not even in the question that you are not an expert or you you don't know your things. So for everybody listening, it's it takes time and you need to really come to um you know peace with the things that you don't know how to do and look for help elsewhere, right? Having a partner, having a consultant, because you don't you I don't think any entrepreneur or any Amazon business owner can do everything mm. excellent. Right. Absolutely. That is so true. Like the the jack of all trades, master of none is not advantageous for anyone. We need to have expertise. You wouldn't like I always kind of liken this to like the medical community. You wouldn't you wouldn't go to a doctor to fix a legal issue. You go to a lawyer, you go to a specialist, you go to somebody who knows exactly what they're doing in a specific niche or style. You wouldn't go to even your eye doctor to get your teeth fixed. That's why we have specialties. Same thing applies to business. When we're in business, specifically with dealing with Amazon, we have PPC experts, we have coaches and consultants, we have people that do back end work, uh, like you guys do with flat files and your account management. But then there's also inventory and shipping experts, there's prep centers who can, you know, filter your information and filter your products and put them, you know, other places. So getting an expert in everything, I feel like is really, really important. If you want to grow, if you want to scale and you want to have a successful business, you have have to remember that it takes time and energy to build. You can't continue doing the same things over and over and expect, expect growth. You must scale in a different way. And that partially is investing in some experts, even if it's just for a few minutes, a few a specific project that you need. Um, but reality is, is that once you get into it, it's not quick, it's not easy. And I love that you said that this is a real legitimate business and any legitimate business um, takes time to grow. It takes time to learn. 
and experience that. And that's why, you know, people like you and I are providing content for people and training so that they can really understand that, yes, there's a learning curve, but also there can be major successes at the end of that learning curve if you just stay with it and figure out what what are your strengths you 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 lean into your strengths and you utilize what you what's easy for you if something comes easy for you like vanessa you were saying how it's easy for